Uh, hello and welcome to LibTech Tools. I'm Rachel Hendrick, the editor and publisher of Choice, and I'm here with Gary Price, the editor of InfoDocket and ARL Day in Review. And today we're looking at how to create a prompt for generative AI using AI. This te technique, we think and, and hope, might produce better results, uh, but also it can serve as a training exercise for users on how to create more robust prompts for generative AI. We're using GPT-4 and uh, via Poe for this exercise, but you can use any chatbot or LLM. Go ahead, you Gary. that right. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. It's, it's really simple. You know, um, trying to create a robust prompt that gives you back excellent results can be challenging and time consuming. So here we're just creating excuse me, we're just sharing something very brief and then letting the GPT actually write the prompt that then we can, one, as you said, use as a learning tool. And then we can either copy and paste, tweak it, and then use it and then actually use, try to get a result from it, a response from it, or just copy and just say yes, uh, just paste it back in and get a response immediately. So... Again, using GPT-40, I just simply typed in what I think a lot of people would be, and you suggested this as a topic. Create a prompt that discusses the role of the sister, the role of sisters in the writing of Jane Austen. And with that little amount of text, it created this entire prompt. So how many words is this? You know, almost 275 words that then you can either, as I said, tweak and then submit or just copy and paste right now and submit it um, to either the, the chat bot that you use to create the prompt and or multiple chat bots. And I can't say enough in my view, especially at this time in the, in the, in the use of the technology, using a variety of tools, using a variety of models, using a variety of chat bots, if you like, is a good idea because not only will you get different results, but it's a great way to learn how the chatbot itself works. I can also say that I tried a different version of this prompt up here, again, using GPT-40, and I ask it to create a multi-step prompt. And I've been reading a lot about how breaking down ideas and submitting them one at a time, building, taking one idea and building on it can often be get you a better result. So here I ask it to create a multi-step prompt that I can either submit in whole, or I could copy and paste each individual one, get a result for step one, then, then submit step two and get a response for step two, so on and so forth. So it's that simple. And I've had a lot of good, good luck with this over the last couple of weeks. So I wanted to share it with you in the audience. I can also say in this particular case, I'm using a wonderful resource called O. And O, is a subscription, they give you a little bit for free, but with a post subscription, you can try, you can use at the highest level, a variety of different LLMs and chatbots. And I think, as I said a moment ago, it's a great way to learn is by tr uh, usage of as many of these tools as possible. So again, using, consider using a chatbot to help you create a prompt that then you can either tweak on your own and or just immediately submit to get a response. I love this technique, Gary, and I'm going to start using it because um, a sentence is, it really just saves you time. I mean, and a sentence is about all I've got for, for a chatbot. I will not go through creating a multi-step uh, prompt like, like O oh, has created for us or GPT-4 has created for us. So I think it's so cool. Right. And the great thing now is if you just copy and paste this into a document, then you can add in one extra bullet point or you can remove one bullet point. You could say, don't use these novels to pick another novel, that kind of thing. It makes it, it can be a big savings of time and get you a better result too. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, I think that's the key word is, is the key phrase is saving time, because that's one of the things we want out of, out of AI is to sort of do the work for us. So thank you so much, Gary. This is so cool.